Hello children, I hope everyone is staying at home safely and enjoying the family bonding. Today, I have an interesting story for you. Before that, tell me, have you ever seen snakes? There are different types of snakes living on earth, living in water, poisonous and non-poisonous. Have you ever come across a snake charmer? These mesmerizing men are actually artists and entertainers. We have a snake charmers because Mr. Aryana, who is going to tell about his life stories and also is going to share about his communities. Let us hear his story. Hi, I am Aryanath and I am a snake charmer. I entertain people with snakes. Also, I know how to play a bean and make the snakes dance. I have learned this art from my father and grandfather. Our community is called Kalbilias. My grandfather, Roshan Naji, was famous amongst our people. He could easily catch many poisonous snakes he tells me many stories about his past. So children, what do you think of Aryanath? Is he familiar to you? Or have you met someone like him for the first time? Well, he is a snake charmer. He is very famous for playing his bean and making the snake dance. Now look at the picture. This instrument is called bean used by the snake charmer to make the snakes dance. Like he said that he learned this art from his father and grandfather. This suggests that what he is doing is his family occupation. Now let's continue the story. From the time of my grandfather and great grandfather, we have always been Sapera. Children, do you know what you mean by Sapera? Sapera is a Hindi word for snake charmers. Snakes have been an important part of our life. We used to move from village to village carrying our snakes in bamboo baskets. Whenever we stop in a village, the crowd gathers around us. Then we take out the snakes from our baskets. Even after the show, people would stay because they knew we had medicines for curing illnesses. We made these medicines from plants collected from forest. I have learned all this from my grandfather. People give us money or food grains. In this way, we manage our life. Children, like he said before, that his family is engaged in the Sapera occupation. They are very hard-working people. To entertain new people, they have to move from different locations. As you have seen them, you can notice that they carry their snakes in a bamboo basket. Their outfit and their baskets are very famous as soon as people see them. They gather around them, then they play their bean and make the snakes dance. After amusing the crowd, the crowd gives them money or food grains. Some stay as they know that separas can cure illnesses of medicine of forest. He credits his grandfather for the knowledge he has got. Now come to the story. Sometimes I am called to places where someone had been bitten by a snake and hospitals are far off. From the marks of the bite, I try to find out which snake has bitten that person. I would then give a medicine for that. But I have not always been on time. As you know, some snakes bites can cause death on spot. But most of the snakes are not poisonous. I have also been catching snakes since my childhood. In my childhood days, nobody watched TV. We were the entertainers back then. Now let's think and answer the following questions.
Aryana shares the tragedy that is happening with snakes. Some bad people are killing snakes for their venom and skin which are sold at very high prices. He is disappointed. He further asks that government has banned the catching and keeping of snakes in homes for entertainment. Therefore, to obey the law, they have left their snake charming occupation and now they still entertain people but with playing beans, dolls and other traditional instruments like tumba and kanjiri. They even have gained a new name for them that is bean party. We people have never killed snakes and sold their skin. People say that we keep the snakes in bad conditions. If we wanted, we too could have earned a lot of money by killing snakes. But we would never do that. Snakes are our treasure that we pass on from one generation to another. We even gift snakes to our daughters when they get married. In our Kalbelia dance, we also have moments similar to the dance of the snake. Children, now look at the picture. Here, the moments of Kalbelia dance is shown. Here, some musical instruments are used in bean party. They are bean, thumba, kanjiri and dole. Except Dol, all the other three instruments are made from dried gourd. We call it Loki in Hindi. He also says that we do not want to waste the knowledge about snakes we got from our fathers and grandfathers. We want to share it with children who live in town and cities. I want them to learn that there is nothing to be afraid of snakes and learn to differentiate between poisonous and non-poisonous snakes. But snakes are now endangered animals and they are being killed every day by humans that their number is becoming less and less. It affects the balance of nature. Snakes are the friends of farmers. After the government banning the keeping of snakes, Aryanath says that he wants to pass on the precious knowledge about snakes that they learned from their elders to you. He wants you to learn between poisonous and non-poisonous snakes and help in stopping the killing of snakes as they maintain balance in nature by eating rats and mice in forms and save the crops. Here are some questions and you have to write the answers from your own experience. Have you ever seen animals being used for entertainment of people? When and where did you see this? So normally most of the children have seen the animals have been used in circus or in bullock carts or horse carts. Like in circus, which is the animals we can see? We can see animals like elephants, tigers, monkeys, horse or birds. And they do different kinds of movements or acts and entertain people. People also use bullocks to pull bullock carts in villages and in beach side, horse or pony is used for ride to entertain the people. And now tell me, if we have seen such animals, how did people behave with the animals in the show? The behavior of most of the people was good towards the animals. Was anyone teasing the animals? How? Nowadays nobody is teasing the animals. What do you mean by teasing? Teasing means troubling the animals. But sometimes when people go to the zoo, they may throw water bottle or paper ball or sometimes they throw the food item. So it is not good habit, isn't it children? What kind of questions come to your mind after seeing the animal show? Many questions may come to your mind. For example, is it fair to exploit animals for our entertainment? How those animals are caught? How those animals are trained? Do circus people handle those animals with proper care? Imagine that you are an animal in a cage. Think how you would feel. Just like how is the lion feeling so sad in the picture. He must be feeling that 
I was free in the jungle. I could roam around here and there whenever I wanted. But now I am trapped in the cage. I can't go anywhere as per my wish. My freedom is lost. Now we will learn about the very important topic of this chapter is most poisonous and deadliest snakes found in India. Children, do you know of the many kinds of snakes found in our country, only four types of snakes are poisonous. Now let's study how to identify them. First is cobra. Cobra is the longest and poisonous snake found in India. It is mostly found in rainforests where it rains a lot. It looks mostly black in color but its color may vary from region to region or country to country. Next is common krite. It is the most deadly snake among the four poisonous snakes in India. Usually it has brown or black in color with white stripe on its body. So it is easily identified. Now come to the third type of snakes that is Russell's Viper or Dubaya in Hindi. These snakes are also have a light colored or grayish brown in their body. It has oval shaped spots on top of the body. So we can easily identify. Just see how beautiful the pattern is there on his body. But it is very dangerous also. The next type of uh, snake is called saw scale viper. It is dry looking body covered with rough scales mostly found in dry and rocky places. It has light color round patches on top of his body which are surrounded by two wavy lines from head to tail. So this is the different types of snakes which are found in India. Now let's write the answer for this question. Like snake charmers, which other people depend on animals for their livelihood? For example, milkman depends on cows and buffaloes as he milks the cow and sells the milk and earns money. Farmers depends on bullets to plow his field. Washerman depends on donkey to carry loads of clothes. Similarly, poultry farm depends on hens. We get eggs from poultry and then eggs are sold and the poultry owner earns money. Did you know children that medicines which are given to people for snake bite, those medicines are also prepared by snake venom. Venom means snake poisons. So venom is taken out just like how in these pictures and then the venom are sending for research and medicines are prepared out of this. So amazing, isn't it? There is one more interesting thing you should know about is Nag Gumpan. Nag means snake and Gumpan means design. It is a kind of Rangoli design used in Gujarat and South India. In this design, snakes are drawn on floor as a rangoli or printed on clothes or embroidery is done on clothes in the form of this kind of designs. So here we have completed this lesson. Thank you.